Hello everyone, I am back again today with Janine House a mere two weeks after our most recent round of interviews. We felt it necessary to give you some more new information because there have been some very, very interesting new developments. How are you this evening, Janine? Yeah, good, thanks, Robert. Good. Yeah, it was a surprise catch up, but um, yeah, we're getting this down pat. <laughs> Indeed we are. Look, there is a lot of information to go through. Sometimes it's hard to know exactly where to start. But you've got your whiteboard with you and again I'm seeing what resembles something of a time frame or a roadmap which is uh, branching out ahead of us as we speak. Can you give us an idea of what we are looking at there on the whiteboard this evening? Yeah, sure Robert. Okay, look I've put the timeline up here again because this is our skeleton of world events that is repeating a historical template that is enabling us to understand what's going on in our world. In other words, what has happened is because these world events have repeated exactly on the same time at the same date as a previous history, we have broken the world event code. We've broken the code. We understand what's going on. This is enabling us to understand there's a deeper level of um, serious event. These events hold um, great and profound significance and that's what we're trying to highlight. So I've got the skeleton on the board so that as I talk I can um, just refer to it. But yes Robert, today what I'd like to look at in a bit more detail is what does it mean now that all of these timelines have fulfilled 35 and a half years, three and a half years, 1290 days. Now we're coming up to this 1335 days. We want to look at that and understand what is that all about. Um, I've got a little bit more information there. I'd like to talk a little bit about the events that have been happening since we last met. We were speculating about what might happen on the 29th of Alal, not the 6th of Alal, which I accidentally said in my previous video, so I'm really sorry about that. Um, on the 24th of the night, same date, um, what was going to happen on that date and then the events that have been playing out since then. We're going to take a look at that. We're also going to take a look at the deeper, more profound significance of these events and what the message is to us from the events. So what do these events mean to us and what should we do? How do we reorder our lives so that we stay safe and protected? So that's, um, yeah, in a nutshell. Well, it does sound very interesting. Last time we spoke, as I said, was roughly two weeks ago. One of the big, big things in the news at the time was the death of Queen Elizabeth. Mm. And then, of course, the ascendancy to the throne of the British monarchy of uh, Prince Charles, now King Charles III. Uh, I believe what you're showing us there, as mm. you said, a skeleton, a, a bare bones version of, 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 of the roadmap looking into the future, it would appear as though you've developed a method or cracked the code for determining what the future holds. There are certain patterns that are repeating mm. and they can be predicted uh, to some high level or degree of accuracy. Yeah, we haven't been quite sure how, um, how accurate. Um, yeah, exactly. We haven't been quite sure, you know, whether this would play out exactly. Um, so yeah, that, that's been the question mark, Robert, absolutely. So these would not be incidents of uh, random coincidence? Right, exactly. It's not random. This is not coincidental. There's a lot more going on here. And in fact, I can speak to that point right now with some very specific information to give you an idea that the Vatican know exactly what they're doing, that they are repeating, they know that they're repeating this history. Um, on this date, when the Pope announced the ecological conversion, he said it's been three and a half years since this event when he went to America and the United Nations. So he pointed out this three and a half year period, he noted like verbally to everybody. So that indicated to me that he understood what was going on. Um, 
Well, you know, it suggested it. I don't want to say with an absolute. It, to me, it sounded like, hmm, it sounds like he knows exactly what's going on. And it would make sense that a world power that has been around for 2,000 years, longer than 2,000 years, is going to know their own history. And if they're repeating their own history, they are going to understand absolutely what they're doing.